Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Israelites, the time has come for you to take your walk with the Most High seriously. If you want to change your condition, you have to do your part to get the results that you want. The Satans that rule this world with the synagogue of Satan is not going to help you overthrow their system. Too many Israelites and indigenous black people believe the very people that oppress them is going to save them. If you put your life in the hands of men, especially in the hands of the children of the fallen, don't be surprised when they turn on you and tear you into pieces. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again, and rend you. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. The children of the fallen whom the hybrid creation that we live among descend from have a history of violence. The Bible testified to this as well as history. I don't comprehend how the indigenous black people believe the wicked who enslave, murder, and plunder everything they've owned will help them achieve their goal to freedom as well as lead the indigenous black people into serving the most high in the spirit and in truth. The scripture said, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The wicked rule this world. Therefore, the wicked is not going to lead you back to the most high. They are an adversary to the Most High and His people. The scripture said, We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Only the Most High can help you get to freedom. The Most High has promised His people salvation. The problem is that the Israelites and indigenous black people look to their oppressors to get to freedom. The word of the Most High said the truth would make you free, as well as through knowledge will the just be delivered. Why are the people of the Most High seeking deliverance from the beast system that is run by the corrupt seed of the fallen? And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Messages about the holy angels, repentance, prayer, and spiritual warfare will never go viral in the beast culture. Messages about the holy angels can destroy the workers of iniquity in the beast system if the people of the Most High understand the message. Every time the Most High has me prepare a feel-good message that is not controversial but will aid the people of the Most High in their pursuit for freedom and redemption, the workers of iniquity in the beast culture highly censor those messages. It's up to the Israelites and the indigenous black people to share these messages for our people to wake up. The indigenous black people have been fighting in the flesh for too long. Some do not understand the scriptures when it said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Satan uses the media, guns, war, technology, GMO, and mind control to destabilize their opponents. The Satans and the synagogue of Satan rely on their armies that have weapons of mass destruction to fight against nations as well as to commit terrorism against the people within their nations they deem a threat. The workers of iniquity in the beast system depend on their armies to overcome any adversaries regardless if they are homeborn. In addition to their army, the workers of iniquity use witchcraft and idolatry to disarm the people of the Most High. 
the Satan Samjaza taught mankind about witchcraft and sorcery. Samjaza taught enchantments and root cutting, the resolving of enchantments, astrology, the constellation, the knowledge of the clouds, the signs of the earth, the signs of the sun, and the course of the moon. And as men perished, they cried and their cry went up to heaven. The Bible said the Satans taught their sons everything they are using in the beast system to remain in power. Satan and his people know the moment the Israelites and indigenous black people begin to use the Most High's army, it's over. The synagogue of Satan will attack the anointed of the Most High, regardless of their status. If you're a person of influence, they will do everything that they can to destroy your reputation with the people who view you as a leader. Israelites, it is important that you don't dismiss messages about prayer, repentance, spiritual warfare, and the holy angels. The workers of iniquity will make it appear as if nobody's watching these messages. The synagogue of Satan is watching and they know the importance of these messages. Indigenous black people, you must value topics about spiritual warfare, prayer, repentance, and the Most High's army because if you master the wisdom these topics bring, it will change your life. Satan loves when you fight in the flesh. The workers of iniquity know that they that do anything in the flesh reap corruption. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. When the Most High give you an eye to see, it becomes difficult to unsee what is hiding in plain sight. Because of the times, it is extremely important to know the full gospel. As the times of the heathens are coming to an end, iniquity shall increase. The indigenous black people must know how to communicate with the Most High as well as how he operates to remain safe in Jacob's trouble. The holy angels of the Most High play a significant part in keeping you safe. The earth is groaning. The word of the Most High said, In the last days, perilous times shall come. The indigenous black people must establish a personal relationship with the Most High to know how to maneuver in the end times. This know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. The holy angels play a significant part in your safety. The Most High will give his angels charge over you. If the people of the Most High cannot understand when the angels are instructing them or assisting them, it will be difficult to know what is happening in your life as well as in the world in general. Just because you didn't interact with an angel in the physical, it doesn't mean an angel did not assist you that day. The angels of the Most High are spirit beings. They have the ability to manifest in the physical realm to assist the people of the Most High. The scripture said the angels are in camp around the people who fear the Most High to deliver them. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. If you're looking for protection from the holy angels, the book of Psalms said when you fear the Most High, his angels will deliver you. The scripture said in the book of Proverbs that to fear the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Learning the full gospel is not only giving you knowledge that will set you free, but you begin to fear the Most High as your knowledge increase. To fear the Most High means to reverence Him, hold the Most High in high esteem, to respect and praise. As the people of the Most High gain knowledge, they are being sanctified by the words of the Most High. The sanctification by His words will set His people free. Israelites, do you see how the word of the Most High is intertwined with each other and the message geared towards obtaining knowledge? Learning the truth of the Most High's words is very important. When the workers of iniquity hide the truth by not teaching the full gospel, the people of the Most High are sabotaged. It is important to know the word regardless of the season we are in. The Israelites and the indigenous black people that fear the Most High have the help of the holy angels. But he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. The people who reject the Most High do not have the help of the angels, as well as the sinners of the Most High's people. How does the holy angels help you? 
The holy angels will point you in the direction you should go as well as give you understanding. It is important to utilize the help of the angels that are available to the righteous. If you don't know about the angels and how they operate, you will live a hard life trying to get things done independently from the Most High. The holy angels will try to get your attention in many ways. When the Most High was leading our ancestors out of Egypt to the wilderness, the Most High sent his angel to be a guide to his people. The holy angel showed up in the form of a thick cloud during the day. At night, the angel was a pillar of fire. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these so that the one came not near the other all the night. Moreover, thou ledest them in the day by a cloudy pillar, and in the night by a pillar of fire, to give them light in the way wherein they should go. The angels can take many forms to assist you. They are not limited to human appearance. As you heard in the book of Exodus, the angel appeared in the form of a cloud and a pillar of fire to guide our ancestors. Whenever the Most High wants to bless you or he wants to bring change into your life, whatever the Most High decree, he will send his angels to carry out the blessings or to bring the change. Israelites, being knowledgeable about the spirit realm is as equally important. Everything the Most High is going to do, he will show you in the spirit realm. Everything that is going to take place in your life or in the world, the Most High give his people the insight in the spirit realm, your dream life. Most of the time, your interaction with the angels are in the spirit realm. Most of the stories you read in the scriptures took place in the spirit realm. Daniel was used in a mighty way to reveal end time prophecies. The Most High revealed to Daniel the end time prophecies in a vision and dreams. The word of the Most High said, if there be a prophet among you, he will speak to him in a dream and make himself known to him in a vision. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. The book of Daniel revealed many sealed prophecies that will take place in the end times. When Daniel received these visions and prophetic messages, he did not understand them. It wasn't until the angel of the Most High was sent, Daniel gained understanding. The holy angel revealed the meaning to the dreams and visions concerning the end times. When the command was given by the Most High, the holy angel appeared to give Daniel the interpretation. Without the Most High's command, the holy angels would not engage. And it came to pass, when I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and sought for the meaning, then, behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Uli, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood. And when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall be the vision. If you're a person who established a personal relationship with the Most High and you see the hands of the Most High operating in your life, the Most High gave his angels instructions concerning you. It is the holy angels that help to connect you to the blessing. If you've been praying to receive a breakthrough, when the Most High answer your prayer, the Most High will instruct his angels. The holy angel will come to guide you to your breakthrough. Israelites, it is important to know what is happening in your life. Your dream life will reveal the breakthrough. Know that when the breakthrough is coming, the Satans will come to try to steal your blessings. At that time, you have to keep your emotions in check and be vigilant. Most importantly, trust the Most High in the process to receive your breakthrough. At such a time like this, many of us need to be aware of the help that is available to us. The holy angels will help the people of the Most High escape the violence that is coming against them, as well as instruct you and your family where to go when it becomes unsafe in the end times. The Most High did say he would save his people from Jacob's trouble. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. 
It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. I've had many people ask if we should flee. Should they move to Africa? Those questions should be directed to the Most High. If the Most High instruct for you to leave, the holy angels will guide you and your family on where to go, just like the angel of the Most High told Joseph and Mary where to hide from King Herod when the king wanted to kill the Messiah. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Remember, Israelites, the Most High said he will gather his people from all over the world. This is why it is important to know what the Most High is saying to you. Learning the full gospel will help you with the decisions you have to make daily. Without a relationship with the Most High and not knowing how he operates will interfere with your journey. Some Israelites will become a casualty in the beast system for a lack of knowledge. Israelites, do not perish from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The angel of the Most High appeared to Joseph in a dream and gave him instructions concerning his safety with baby Messiah. As the people of the Most High, we must master this concept in order for us to find success in our everyday lives. Most people dismiss their dreams. Israelites, whatever you do, don't dismiss your dreams. Pay close attention to them. Your dreams and visions unveil much. Your dream life correspond with the life you live in the physical realm. Dismissing the spiritual insight received in the spirit realm has major consequences. It is a blessing to be a dreamer. Your dream life play a major part with your interactions with the holy angels. The Most High said he speak with his people in their dreams. For God speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. In addition to speaking with his people via a dream, the word of the Most High said the holy angels of the Most High are ministering spirits. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Israelites, if you're in need of encouragement and strength, the holy angels can minister to you. When the Messiah was taken by the angels of the Most High to be tempted by Satan, the scripture said after he was tested and trialed, the holy angels came to minister to him. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. The holy angels play a major role in our lives. It is important to know how the holy angels operate and how they make themselves available to assist. You have to be a righteous person of the Most High to gain access to the angels of the Most High. Not knowing how the holy angels operate and the position they play will make your life difficult. If the workers of iniquity and religion had your best interests concerning your salvation, they would have taught you the full gospel. Because the wolves in sheep clothing want to have power over you, the best way to disable the people of the Most High is to interfere with the connection with their God. As long as the people of the Most High do not have access to the Most High's army to defend them, they become vulnerable. The synagogue of Satan can continue to oppress and destroy the earth. The heathen's army appear to be powerful because the indigenous black people do not comprehend the spiritual army that supports them. Who can stand against the army of the Most High? The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. And who can abide it? The army of the Most High consists of his holy angels. Each angel have a ranking and a position. The most powerful angels control certain aspects of the Most High's creation. 
For example, the holy angel Uriel, he it is that is over the world and over the prison of the watchers called Tartarus. Uriel, one of the holy angels who is over the world and over Tartarus. The army of the Most High include the righteous as well as the wicked. The Most High will allow the wicked to destroy themselves. The scriptures did say that the Most High appoint kings and he dethroned them as well. There is not an area of his creation the Most High do not control. He controlled the wicked as well. That is why no one can stand against the Most High. He has no equal. Satan fell like lightning when he thought he could challenge the Most High. King Nebuchadnezzar learned the hard way. He said in his heart, look at that great city Babylon that I built. Very soon after his proclamation, the kingdom was departed from him and he became like the beast of the field. The king spake and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O king Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee, and they shall drive thee from men. And thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen. And seven times shall pass over thee until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. The pride in the heart of King Nebuchadnezzar over his precious nation remind me of the foolish leaders of the superpower nations of today. They too will soon learn their fate. The indigenous black people have the great power of the most high on their side. That power become non-existent when you don't know how to use it. Israelites, when you become knowledgeable about the army of the most high, the heathen's army cannot compare. The only reason the modern day nation's army appeared to be powerful, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked rule this world with the chief fallen angel Satan known as Satanel. Despite the wicked ruling our earth, they still can't stand against the army of the Most High. The book of Revelation reveals how the holy angel Michael led the other holy angels in a war against the Satans. The Satans were defeated. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. When you're unaware of the benefits that are available to you, the other species of mankind will take advantage of you. That is exactly what they've been doing. The synagogue of Satan have rewritten history and transformed themselves into your God. They made you worship the God of wood and stone they've created in their image. After inserting themselves into the Holy Scriptures, they took advantage of your ignorance. Israelites, the time has come for you to stop placing your confidence in the other species of mankind. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. If the other species of mankind were truly your ally and want change, they would reject the privilege they obtain in the beast culture for your sake. If they truly serve the God of Israel, they will deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow the Most High. The stronghold the kingdom of darkness used to cause division and discrimination would have failed. So far, the stronghold of discrimination have been traveling from generation to generation. When your so-called allies start rejecting their privilege and place their trust in the Most High, then there's hope. The way they ban critical race theories to shield their children from their violence, your only ally is the Most High. The high-level workers of iniquity gave you a false god. Many indigenous black people continue to pray to this false god until today. The sin of idolatry is a sin the Most High hates. The scripture said, sin separates you from the Most High. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. 
With the indigenous black people being separated from the Most High, the synagogue of Satan has disabled them. Their access to the army of the Most High is hindered. The awakening is here for the Israelites to return to serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth. If the Israelites were truly serving the Most High, there wouldn't be a need to return. The Satans deceive the indigenous black people into idol worship. The workers of iniquity in the beast system replace the laws of the Most High with the laws of men. The synagogue of Satan made sure to remove everything that glorified the Most High in the beast system. By doing this, the people of the Most High continue to fall. The religious leaders that are supposed to help the people establish a relationship with the Most High do not teach the full gospel. By manipulating the gospel and taking away the laws of the Most High, the indigenous black people are destroyed and powerless in the beast system, despite the Most High giving his people power over all their enemies. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Does the work of the leaders of this world sound like the work of an ally? How can you utilize a power that you are unaware of? Israelites, I hope you are beginning to see the importance of working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. In addition, now do you see why the heathens censor messages like this? The moment you gain knowledge and understanding, you begin to do as the words say, change will come. The synagogue of Satan rely on their fleshly army to control the world. An army of flesh is weak and cannot measure to the army of the Most High. Be strong and courageous. Be not afraid, nor dismayed for the king of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us than with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. And the Lord sent an angel, which cut off all the mighty men of valor and the leaders and captains in the camp of the king of Assyria. So he returned with shame of face to his own land. And when he was come into the house of his God, they that came forth of his own bowels slew him there with the sword. One angel destroyed the king of Assyria, men of Velour, and brought shame to their army when they came against Judah, the people of the Most High. The holy angels that are over the storehouses can destroy the heathen's army of flesh that many indigenous black people perceive to be great and powerful. The storehouses of the Most High are withholding weapons of mass destruction. The Most High is reserving the storehouses for that great and terrible day. Hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war? Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. But with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. When the heathens came against Judah, when Jeroboam was the leader of Judah, the Most High caused the army of the heathens to fight themselves. Israelites and indigenous black people, I hope you're beginning to see the reason for the censorship. The synagogue of Satan has disabled many by creating idols made in their images to worship. The disciples of Satan are teaching the sheep have truth in religion. Witchcraft and sorcery is cast on the people to get them to comply. When messages such as this is taught, it is important for the people of the Most High to listen and draw near to the Most High. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Our weapon of warfare are not carnal. It is the pulling down of strongholds. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. In order to break through the strongholds, you have to obtain wisdom and understanding. The word of the Most High will sanctify you with truth. The holy angels are here to help you overcome demonic strongholds of all sorts. In order to get access to the holy angels, your ways must be pleasing to the Most High. The word of the Most High said when your ways please him, he will make your enemies at peace with you. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Israelites, do not let the synagogue of Satan's censorships discourage you from obtaining the knowledge needed to be free. The workers of iniquity make sure to watch and listen to our content to see how they can come against us. 
Israelites, the Most High is making his words available to his people. Make it a priority to listen and apply what you learn to your life. The time has come for the people of the Most High to be doers of the word and not hearers only. But be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. If what the Most High is revealing in the awakening was not important and a threat to your adversaries, the workers of iniquity would ignore the awakening and promote our content. Israelites, knowing how the holy angels work in your life is important. There is a lot of great benefits that come with serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth. Israelites, let your ways please the Most High so that you can gain access to his angels. The holy angels are available to those who will receive salvation. Israelites, repent. The Most High desire to save his people. Let the life you live make you become a part of the remnant. I will mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindnesses. For he said, Surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them in his love and in his pity. He redeemed them and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. 